All right, y'all, we are at good old Goodwill. I got me a haircut, no hat today, so I'm feeling frisky, so I think it's gonna be a good thrifting day. Let me get over here, I gotta unload Elizabeth because she's coming thrifting with me today, and we're gonna go see what we can find. Let's go. All right, so not really sure here what this thing is, but we're gonna put the top back on it for $5.29 and let somebody else figure it out and keep on thrifting. <laughs> I did wanna share with y'all that I do have a thrift haul for you today, and I'm gonna show you how I am styling and using these pieces. I am super excited because one of these items I find here shortly on the bottom shelf for only $5.29. And even though the sticker falls off later in the video, you'll see at the very end when I'm doing the haul and I try to ask them to get me another price tag. They tried to up price me to like $8.29 or something like that. I was like, um, no, sir. This had a $5.29 tag on it. And I have a video to prove it because I film for you too. So thankfully my filming paid off today because I was able to go back and pull up this $5.29 sticker on this item that they were trying to overcharge me for when I asked for a price tag so I could go check out. Anyway, that's all beside the point. We're going to keep on thrifting and I'm sure you will be able to recognize what the item was here in just a little bit once I pick it up. You can definitely tell when it is garage sale season because the thrift stores start having all of the garage sale leftovers with the garage sale tags on them. That little metal thing there, I thought that would have been really cute spray painted to put somewhere to put soaps and different things in by your kitchen sink or something. I don't know y'all and I love little trinket boxes. I have a weakness for them. I don't know why but I ended up putting that one back. It had something on there I think that said something about Arizona. So hello to anybody that may be here watching from Arizona. Arizona. This is the most adorable little pig. I believe that this is some sort of potpourri holder. You can see all of the little holes in it that maybe you would have put potpourri or something in it. Maybe it's just missing its stopper. I don't know, but the pig itself was super cute. And then this little candle topper got my attention. Y'all, I used to buy home interior candles like they were going out of style they were my favorite and I know that that is probably one of the toppers that fit on the old home interior candles but I absolutely loved the colors on that one I don't normally like the colors on them so I'm gonna think about that one and then look at all of these copper pots that they have over here they are priced very well and then that very very nice pioneer woman crock pot Now, I think this set right here is to hold homemade baby food. I may be wrong. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. But y'all, these would make great little snack containers for your little kids. Like, you don't have to put the wet homemade baby food in there. You could use these to put little crackers or little snacks, even for yourself, and throw in a bag to go on a trip or the ball field. Like, I have kids playing ball right now, and we're all about needing the snacks while we're at the ball field. And so, that would have been a great idea for those. So, just because it is a baby item that is made for homemade baby food definitely think outside of the baby food jar and what else could you use it for This beautiful brass lamp caught my attention up here on the top rack. I love brass lamps nowadays. Like they are my favorite. And so I picked this up just to kind of make sure that it was actually brass. And I can just kind of tell by feel now. It took me a little while to learn, but it is definitely heavy. I'm holding it with one hand here, trying to juggle it around and find a price tag, which I could never find on this lamp anywhere. And I already have a whole price tag issue that goes on later in the video that I talked about earlier. So 
I was like, you know what? I don't even do, excuse me, I don't even feel <laughs> like dealing with one more price tag issue. So I just put that back on the top rack. But wow, what an amazing price on this food saver right here, y'all, for just a little over $5. That was a steal on that. This would have made a very cute little dish for a kitten or a little cat, little food bowl or a water bowl, or you could have even used that to put underneath a small plant to catch the water for, you know, the drainage. So I just bought a treadmill off Facebook Marketplace and I'm needing to move a shelf around in my office area. So I'm looking for some organization things because that shelf that I need to take down holds a lot of like our current bills and paid bills and receipts and different things like that. So I am looking for some different and unique pieces to move over to the hutch to hold those items for me once I take that shelf down. But I really wasn't finding anything today that made me just go, oh, I have to have that. I really don't want your standard little plastic looking containers, which is what I'm using right now. But because I'm going to put, excuse me, goodness, I almost choked. But because I'm going to be putting these things on my hutch in there, I want it to look nice, like in some decorative little baskets or something like that. So that's why I'm really checking out the office section here. Now, how cute is this with the date and the day and the month, all the things? I love this because half the time I'm walking around going, what even is today? What's the date? Like sometimes I don't have a clue unless I pull out my phone. And then the most adorable little picture frame here, y'all, it is so tiny and I love this. This just looks so old and vintage. And this will look great because it is small. I'm always looking for small little frames that I can sit like on the corner of a book with a little lamp or something like that, a little flower pot. And this is like the perfect size. I'm trying to show you how tiny it is. And I just have a weakness for small little things like this. And then right here, y'all, you spot this piece right here. I want you to look at the price tag on the bottom that is there. And it is very evident that the price tag was on there and that I did not maneuver this in any way because that's kind of what I was accused of doing is taking a price tag and putting it on here for this price. But it's on there for $5.29. But because the bottom of that pot is really not like a good flat surface or ceramic, I don't know, it was really like rough. And so the sticker just really wasn't sticking on there good and I guess it fell off at some point while I was picking it up and looking at it and filming it different things like that I'm not really sure because when I get ready to go do my haul in a little while the sticker is missing and I tell the little guy hey this had a sticker on it um, it was five dollars and 29 cents I've lost the sticker in the store somewhere I'm not really sure where it went he goes to the back because he says they have to have a price tag on it and he comes back and the price tag says eight dollars and 29 cents and I'm like hold up that, that did not have an eight dollar and 29 cent price tag on it it had a five dollar and 29 cent price tag on it he goes oh no well I'm sorry the guy in the back that just priced it told me that he remembers pricing that and he priced it for eight dollars and 20 cents and I'm like trying to process there for just a minute and I'm like I'm not going to argue this is not worth three dollars but then I remember hey you film for YouTube like pull out your camera and show them the evidence of you pulling it off the bottom shelf and I said well can I show you something I said I film for YouTube and I literally show me pulling this off the shelf with that sticker on there for five dollars and 29 cents I am not trying to rob y'all of your $3. If that's what you have to have, that's fine. But I just want to tell you that it's not fair to me as the consumer for you to upcharge me for something that you had on the shelf for $5.29. I don't like the way that's like that. Okay, so I probably would have got this 
But for eight dollars and the way it sags and I hmm, I don't understand. You would think the longer legs would go down here. But yeah, see how it's I was thinking I could get this to put shoes on in my closet, but I don't like that. It's just a little too flimsy for eight dollars. This is like I guess a little cooler. Fifteen dollars though, so I don't know. Oh wait, is this some paintable wallpaper? I think it is. Yep, it is. Brand new. It's not bad. Five dollars, because this stuff is kind of pricey. A little... It's a cute little chair. It's only five bucks. I just brought this out. Oh, wait, here's a beach bag. Kelsey said, look for me a beach bag. Which are you? Two dollars. Hmm. So I love the colors in this piece right here, but this is actually a shawl that you would like wear over, you know, your body for only a dollar and 29 cents though. This would make perfect material to make some pillows or just cut it up and use it on the edge of a chair, something like that. I did end up leaving it just because I really don't have the time for very many projects right now. I have like Elizabeth's graduation coming up and I am literally surviving the day each day to get things done. So I just left that behind for somebody else to enjoy. But then they brought out a cart. So y'all know we're going to run over here and check out this cart just to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, I remembered while I was over here looking at these linens that I saw a vintage looking Christmas book that I wanted to go check out before I did the haul. And then I pull it out and I'm like, okay, well, this is really not vintage. I think it's made to look vintage because it has the barcode on the back, made in China, all the things. And it is $5.29. So as cute as it is, I just felt like it wasn't truly authentic. So I put it back on the Shelf, and now I'm going to show y'all everything that I purchased today and what I'm doing with it in my home. As you can see, this is in my buggy and it is in my haul. So I did purchase this today, but this is right around the time that I realized I had lost the sticker off of this item. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's about to be a whole thing. I know it is, but y'all, this was Marshall Pottery and this is a very desirable piece, especially for me. And I could just tell by lifting this thing that it was quality. I do end up getting this y'all for $5.29. I think the little cashier guy was just tired of dealing with me <laughs> because he knew I was telling the truth. Okay, so putting this on top of the candle, its intended purpose is one way of using this, but I want to show you how I'm actually going to use this. I'm not going to keep this on top of the candle. I just wanted to show you what it looks like on one. Now, these actually fit perfect on a wide mouth mason jar. So if you wanted to find some of these at the thrift store and get you some wide mouth mason jars at the thrift stores as well and make you some homemade candles, you can put these little lampshades on there and give them as Mother's Day gifts. Or another Mother's Day gift idea that you can come up with is, let me show you. I have plenty of mason jars. So I already had me a 
wide mouth mason jar and in case you're wondering what i mean when i say wide mouth and some people are not familiar so this is a mason jar that just has a bigger opening at the top some of the other ones i'll show you in comparison this one is considered a regular mouth so if i put them side by side you can definitely see the difference so if you're wanting to thrift some be sure that you're looking for the wide mouth ones because these little ceramic lampshades fit these so well so what i'm going to use mine for and what i think would make an adorable little mother's day gift is wide mouth mason jar water lampshade and some pothos cuttings so what i'm going to do is use these pothos cuttings to propagate these um and i can gift this to someone so that when the roots are all good on the bottom they can plant them and then they can start their own or pass it along to somebody else wouldn't that be fun so what i'm going to do is kind of weave this through this little lampshade just because you want it to come out of the top and look you know really nice now be careful that you don't pull off a bunch of leaves let me get y'all in focus here so just be very gentle with it kind of pulling it through there and you're going to need quite a bit of stem here at the bottom because this is you know it's going to have to go through this lampshade and then in into the jar there to get in water so we're going to push this through here and then we're going to push the other one through and if i need to kind of push these back down through once we get them all in there i can do that i should have done this one first because it has a lot less leaves on it so i'm going to push this one through just so i have a couple of stems in there and just have a better chance of making a fuller plant okay so now that i have these through here i am going to just set them on top of this jar and it makes the most adorable little presentation for propagating your plants in a windowsill if you can put stuff like this in a windowsill you can safely put these somewhere out of you know animals getting in them or whatever and i want to make sure that this stem let me push y'all down as you can see i have this this one stem is in there and it's at the bottom but this one is not so i might have to take this little leaf part off here i don't know i'm just trying to push it down a little bit until i can start to see it you know down here in the water i want both of them down in this water good i'm going to kind of push that down in there so it touches the bottom of the water and i want it to look nice too so i'm just going to hang it off the side here make sure everything is straight and that's what it kind of looks like down in there and I think that this is just an adorable, cute, and fun way of propagating some of your plants just to give it a little pizzazz rather than it just sitting, you know, in a container, which there's nothing wrong with that either. But I think that this makes an adorable gift option, especially with Mother's Day coming up. Propagated plants in a mason jar, wide mouth, with a little ceramic candle topper is adorable.
All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming thrifting with me in Goodwill today. I hope that you got some decorating inspiration just by seeing some of the pieces that I picked up and how I style them in and throughout my home. I haven't said this in a while, but I do want to tell you, you know, it just does not take a whole lot of money to make your home feel cozy, comfortable, and beautiful. Your style is your own, and you can go to the thrift store and probably find something to meet that style. So y'all, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Get out and go thrifting this weekend. We love y'all, and I'll see you next next week with a brand new video.